Currently, the world population is relying 80% on fossil fuels. So 80% of all the energy we use, we use today is, uh, is uh, based on fossil fuels, which means coal or oil or natural gas. The thing is that reserve is, is it, there's a set amount. It took over 650 million years for nature to generate this. So it's, it's not replenishable, it's not <laughs> it's a one-shot deal. It's like inheriting a fortune and spending it all in a weekend, basically. And, and then what do we do? Actually, BP estimates about 53 years left of fossil fuel. So the next few generations are going to have big challenges to meet. Although the, uh, the energy uh, reserves are, are dwindling, data technology keeps you know, increasing. And with uh, the advent of Internet of Things, which basically means that every electronic gadget, including household appliances, cars, vehicle, any vehicle, everything's going to be online and producing data, like phenomenal amounts of data. Well, that means that the, the, the uh, needs in energy for data centers is going to soar. Like, uh, actually, uh, Ericsson says mobile data traffic is going to increase tenfold by 2022, I believe is what they say. And Cisco claimed network traffic is going to quadruple by 2020. That's only in two years. So <laughs> how do we deal with all this extra data? Uh, that means data center requirements for capacity and for energy is also going to at least you know, triple or quadruple if, if this actually happens.